everybody, Susan Rashawn here, The Techie Manor. Thanks for stepping by my YouTube channel, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel where I share all things virtual assistant with zero fluff, just the stuff that gets results. So thanks for coming back. Um, today I wanna talk to you about getting started. So this is something that I see pretty much daily um, in social media, also from emails from uh, people looking to get into the VA industry. And I have to say that um, you need to realize what you're getting into. Now there's all the kind of the nuts and bolts of building a business from the ground up, but I wanna talk a little bit more about um, some of these other things. So for instance, um, you know, realize that whenever you do something new, there is that um, sense of overwhelm because it's new, you've never done it before. And so realize that going in, you are going to have a sense of overwhelm. You may also have a sense of confusion because once again, it's new. It's something you've never done before. For most of us, we never built a business before. Like I was always an employee. So realize that there's going to be confusion and there is going to be overwhelm when you're starting any type of new venture. It could be a diet, could be an exercise routine. Also when you're starting any type of business. So just go in with your eyes open for overwhelm and confusion. Now what can add to the overwhelm and confusion even more is when you do what I call collecting gurus, which means you listen to several different people on how to do something specific. And that's all fine and good, except for what happens is, is you get stuck in analysis paralysis because you've listened to five different people tell you five different ways to do the same thing. And to be honest, there's always more than one way to do everything right? There's no right or best way. It just depends on who you're listening to. I am a research junkie. I love to collect research. And so I fell into this trap myself. I was listening to every podcast and every blog post or reading every blog post and listening to videos to find out more about being a VA. What's it all about? And then I just got overwhelmed. And then I did the same thing with marketing. And I just, and I found myself where I was like, I don't know what to do because I had listened to so many people, I had no clue which one to follow, which advice to follow, because they weren't all the same. So what I ask you to do is if you're collecting gurus, find somebody that resonates with you and follow their advice. Whether that's me or anybody else, find somebody that resonates with you and follow their advice and do what they say until you get results or you don't. If you don't get results, move on to the next guru or expert. So. By collecting gurus and experts, you get different opinions on different things, but that problem is, is that gives you more overwhelm, you get in even more confused, and then you get stuck because you don't know what to do and you don't know who to follow. You have to make a decision. Find the person that resonates the most with you and follow what they say. So when it comes to overwhelm, you also have to figure out how to handle overwhelm, because there is a lot to do when you're building a business, whether it's a VA business, or you know, you're, you're knitting sweaters for a living, whatever it might be, there is so much that goes into this. You have to go in with your eyes open. It's not something you're gonna do in 30 days. It's not something you're gonna do in a weekend. Now, you probably could, but the question is, do you want long-term success? If you want long-term success, you have to put in the groundwork. You have to build the foundation for a solid, long-standing business. You could throw something together in 30 days. You could throw something together in a weekend. But my question is, are you in this for a weekend or are you in this for the long haul? If you're in for the long haul, you have to put in the foundation, which are your business systems, because a business is a system. So you need to make sure that those systems are in place. So have realistic expectations. I know I had unrealistic expectations when I started my business because I thought, oh yeah, I can do this and I can get out of my job in six months. And no, I, I really didn't understand what I was getting into or the amount of work that it takes. So I'm painting a, a real picture here for you. Make sure that you set realist, realistic expectations for whatever your life is and your schedule is. If you're working a 50 hour career, you've got three kids and a two hour commute, you're probably not gonna build a business in 30 days, at least not one that's long-standing and successful. So just set realistic expectations and go for it. 
but just realize what you're getting into. And that's where research comes in, but make sure you do the research and then act on the research. Don't just gather it and keep it. You know, I had this huge Excel spreadsheet with like 30 tabs of information in it that didn't do me any good because all I did was look at it. I didn't take action to actually do something with, with the information. All right, so part of building a business or anything is taking action to get where you wanna go. Well, one of the problems with this is there's no plan, right? You need a plan, you need a schedule, right? Well, how do I get, and what's the first thing, what's the first thing I do, and how do I get started, and then what do I do, and how do I get a name, and all of those things. It is overwhelming if you don't have a plan, and I get that because for me, I was just gathering information and then I had this hodgepodge of stuff and I didn't know what to do first, what to do second, and what to do third. So that's a very, very common um, problem or common issue. But the other thing you have to realize too is, yeah, you need a plan, but you also need to concentrate on your why. And I've talked about this before because your why is what is going to keep you focused when you have a bad day, a bad month, uh, or a bad week because you will. Right? It's, all, it's not just roses this whole time. You are gonna bump up into things that you're gonna have to deal with. So if you focus on your why, it's going to keep you in the game long term, right? Because it's not easy to do this, but it is so, so worth doing it if you want to escape your soul-sucking job or leave the cube farm, whatever it might be. Just realize that you have to focus um, on your why. And I have my little checklist here, so I'm gonna take a look just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I know, one of my favorite, one of my favorite um, sayings is take imperfect action every day. So I am a recovering perfectionist, overthinker here. Um, I can be my own worst enemy and get in my way all the time. And so what I have to focus on is taking imperfect action. And I get that, it makes sense to me. So think about how you can take imperfect action every day to get one step closer to your dream, whatever your dream is. Whether it's quitting your job or just making some extra money on the side, but you need to take some type of imperfect action. So really in this video, I didn't give you kind of the nuts and bolts of building a business. Um, what I really did was just kind of tell you what else you have to be prepared for besides the nuts and bolts of building a business. Now, if you're somebody who's looking for a plan, an action plan of what do I do first, what do I do second, what do I do third, then I invite you to take a look at my virtual assistant action plan. It's part of my getting started system for virtual assistants. And it, basically it is what it is. It's an action plan, it's a plan, it's a list of tasks um, with a lot of extra goodies um, that gets you from point A to point B and you basically follow it all the way to the end to build a successful business. It's got all the nuts and bolts in it that you need. And I've put a link below for you if you wanna check that out. The other thing is, is you can always join my free VA training vault, which has tons of free how-to trainings in it. And it has several getting started ones as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave any comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I invite you to do so. And feel free to share this with anybody you know that would find it useful. I'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.